My piano teaching business right now looks, I have 12 students, though I have three new ones starting in May, so I have 15. Um, I teach four days a week, Monday through Thursday. I have ages four to 13. Um, I teach some during the daytime. I teach some after school. Um, I teach 30 minute and 40 minute private lessons. And I have two group classes uh, twice a semester as well. And then we always have at least one recital per semester. So we might have a Christmas one. And then we actually just finished up our spring recital. I joined about 10 months ago. And before that, I had, I think maybe eight students. I had, I've been teaching piano off and on for 14 years. Uh, since graduating from college and I've had a couple breaks here and there, but I've had a variety of places I've taught. I taught at a music academy at one point. Um, I've always taught a little bit from home. Sometimes I've just volunteered teaching piano at places. Um, but I had finally about two years be before joining the IC, I had started to kind of focus a little bit more on it as sort of a side job. I had always had a full-time job before that. Um, that paid the bills and so piano teaching was just kind of the extra thing that I could fall back on. Um, it was never my focus and when I joined the IC I um, actually started focusing on it like a business um, and like it was my full-time job and it became my full-time job then. So um, it has uh, just totally transformed. I taught one or two days a week beforehand and I decided to go ahead and make this you know the four days I started advertising more um, I started adding in the group classes I had never done those before and um, I actually had not been charging tuition I'd been doing it monthly by uh, according to the weeks that my students were coming and so not every month was uh, I didn't get payment the same every month um, it was just dependent on, on whether they were coming or not. But so once I joined the IC, I started doing tuition. So it was a semester, it was a yearly tuition and we divided it by the 10 months that we were teaching. So every month was the same payment. Um, I actually created policies that I made my parents read and sign. I started conducting interviews with my students before uh, they, before I signed them up um, to make sure that we were a good fit. So the Inner Circle is a online community um, where uh, piano teachers from all over can come to learn how to teach creatively um, and to support each other. So you'll find courses in the academy, uh, everything from starting your studio to pedagogy, um, to running a studio as a business, working on a website, composing, um, using technology and uh, you'll also find some forums where teachers come together and discuss uh, different ideas, uh, trading, um, just the knowledge back and forth, which is really nice, a lot of support and a lot of creativity. Um, that's one of my favorite parts of it actually, is the, the community, the, the teachers, because I didn't have that before. I didn't have the support. Piano teaching is kind of a lonely job, <laughs> unless you have a big music academy. Um, but even when I taught for the music academy, it was my own schedule. I was a contractor and I went in there and I had my students and then I left. And it was you know, a big empty building for <laughs> besides me and my students at that point. Um, and I don't really know any piano teachers around here. I actually, up until just two months ago, um, I had not joined any of the piano teachers uh, groups like the MTNA or anything like that because I wasn't focusing on piano teaching as my business yet. And I was kind of scared to do that um, because I wasn't sure if I could keep up with them, I guess. I kind of get in on, the, on there and I just kind of look at everything and take pieces here and there. And um, actually, if you look at, at the, uh, my roadmap and stuff, you'll see probably most of the courses don't say completed because I'm terrible at clicking that button saying completed. Because <laughs> I'll watch videos over and over again and move on to something else that it spurs me on to. Um, but I have done a lot of the group 
teaching classes, um, which kind of spurred me on to grow my studio like that, just to kind of think outside the box and do something different. Um, I've done a lot of the Facebook advertising stuff, so that's actually another thing that I um, ended up doing is I now have a business Facebook page and I even have a private group Facebook page for my students and the parents. Um, I've also used a lot of the website information on the Inner Circle and I created a website um, last year, actually right at the same time that I joined the Inner Circle. I started using those resources for that. Um, and I guess a lot of the marketing stuff I've watched and followed for advertising and putting I don't do any kind of ads yet, like Facebook ads or Google ads or anything like that. I know there are lots of courses about that on there that I'll probably sometime soon look at, but I haven't used those yet. I justify it by, I did actually do a registration fee. I started that last semester in the fall as well. Um, it was just a small $20 per student registration fee. Um, so it, it sort of covers that, I guess, but really, more joining the IC was kind of worth it to me because it, I felt that it was going to help me grow and make my business into a business more. Mm -hmm. And so I really just justify it by um, how much it's transformed my, my studio. So it's worth it no matter what. <laughs> Whether you do yeah. registration or not, it's just worth it. Yeah. But I do have that $20 registration fee, but I, did, I never had a registration fee before. Um, so that was a little scary for me to spring on the parents a little bit, but they all accepted it totally fine. And um, they've really enjoyed seeing how the studio has grown. So I um, actually am changing my format and how I teach coming up this fall semester. Um, I'm going to add a lot more group classes. I was just talking with a local music store and um, they're going to rent me their group classroom and so I'll start teaching a couple of beginners group classes uh, weekly. And then I'll probably end up changing my whole private 30 minute lessons to be a little bit longer and maybe do some of the buddy lessons and partner lessons, um, as well as group classes probably monthly for even my private students. Um, I actually am working on a blogging course right now. And so I'm, I'm working on my website that I had started back at the beginning of the IC. And so on there, I'm also a yoga teacher, and so I'm combining my whole yoga, music, and just living a creative life, because one thing that I've learned and, and grown in since joining the IC is how I can make every aspect of my life creative. Um, it's kind of given me the energy to like, to make goals and everything. And that's the thing, it's like I started believing in the dreams that I've always had, you know, and, and knew that it was possible then. So I also have a podcast in mind for um, children for first, probably for my students. So it'll be sort of like a um, musical stories kind of podcast because I write children's stories as well. Um, I teach kids yoga and I do it as a story-based kids yoga class. So I want to do that with a little bit of music as well. So that's still kind of in the, in the works in my brain right now. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, I'm actually, I've been looking at some studio space to move into. Right now I just teach in my home and I, because I'm, I feel like I'm growing, I'm kind of running out of space. I've been looking around for places to rent um, so I can offer more things. I'm looking at t doing adult classes, um, sort of like a series, maybe a four to six week series of group adult classes. Um, Really, I just continuously am learning new pedagogy methods and um, just and better, more creative teaching methods, I, I guess. I would say you won't regret joining the Inner Circle. Uh, no matter where you are in your teaching career, you'll find something that will help you grow. And um, you'll also renew your love for teaching. That's one thing. I was starting to become bored with teaching just the same old method um, book. And I thought I was a good teacher, but I couldn't, I, I didn't have the inspiration my students needed to progress the way that I hoped that they would progress. And once I joined the inner circle, it just renewed my love for teaching because I knew that there were so many resources out there that I, I just, um, 
I would never run out of new things to do, new things to learn and new things to do. Um, also, if you join the inner circle, your goals will become more focused. And I think that you'll end up accomplishing a lot more in your studio as well. So not only will your studio transform, also I think that you will transform.